I'm uh, Robert Massey and I'm here from the Royal Astronomical Society, which is one of the biggest astronomical organisations in the world and we look after the interests of astronomers, not just in the UK but across the world. What I'm going to do today is give you a few pointers to get you started in astronomy, which I think is one of the most incredibly interesting subjects there is. There's sometimes confusion between the definitions of a solar system and a galaxy, but in many ways they couldn't be more different, at least in terms of scale. Our solar system is uh, straightforwardly the sun and the planets and the other things that orbit around it. And we actually now think there are many examples of this, as of this strewn across the universe, that there are probably very many stars that have planets going around them. But typically, a solar system like the one we live in might be as big, if you're generous, as one light year across, and that means that it would take light a year to travel across it. Now, if you compare that with a galaxy, even the galaxy we live in, the Milky Way, might have as many as 300,000 million stars, and it's something like 100,000 light years across which means that it would take a ray of light 100,000 years to cross it. So you can see straight away that we're talking about objects that are really in different leagues. Galaxies are much, much, much bigger than a solar system. They're the huge collections of stars that uh, dominate the universe. So, to be clear, solar systems are things like the sun plus the planets, whereas galaxies are huge collections of stars, and they make up most of the material that we can see in the universe, and they're much, much bigger than the solar system.